Kyle Huseman with Hawkeye Report. Lisa wanted to ask about a couple of things that, that Colorado could present as challenges tomorrow. First, they're rebounding with Vonley and uh, Quay Miller in the middle, and then uh, their three-point shooting last year. Obviously, they had free to form, and you guys went up against her. But adding Maddie, no one into the mix, um, that changes things a little bit. Just curious to hear about their rebounding and their three-point shooting. Yeah, I mean, I think you just said it all, uh, Kyle. I mean, we have to box out better than we did last year. We gave up 22 old boards against them last year. Just crazy numbers. Um, and uh, obviously, they have two very good three-point shooters right now. Adding Maddie Nolan, you know, does pose a problem just because now they have two excellent three-point shooters on the perimeter and a great inside game. Right here in the middle. Yep. Hi, Cassandra Negley with Yahoo Sports. You've given Caitlin so much room to be open and public with the media and really become the face of Iowa basketball, giving her that space. What is it about her or your relationship with her that has allowed you to do that for her? I'd say it's trust. Um, I completely trust her. Uh, maturity, uh, she's extremely mature, has handled every situation that's been thrown at her. And she's had a lot uh, of different situations thrown at her. And she's handled them all beautifully. So I think it's a, you know, both of those things, trust and maturity, that she can handle it. Oh, yeah. Chad likes to go to my register. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what's the latest with Molly Davis? Are with the compression brace on type of thing, stretching? Um, what, could she play tomorrow? Could yeah, she's she doubtful for tomorrow. Doubtful. Molly's doubtful for tomorrow. Okay. How is she doing? she doing like she getting how close is she I guess I, I don't know I thought I really thought she'd be back by now um, I really did so I have no no idea you know how long it's gonna take for her to completely heal but we're not gonna put her out there when it's unsafe for her to be out there Hi, Coach. Erica L. Ayala with CBSSports.com. Thank you for your time. I was hoping you could take us back to um, Iowa inviting Lynette Woodard for a very special game for Caitlin for the program for women's basketball and and why you personally feel that that was something that was important to do um, I just don't want the history of our game to be forgotten and Lynette is a huge part of the history of our game she's the leading scorer and 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 I just you know wanted her to be there in the arena um, to show her the appreciation that we all have, have for her and what she laid the groundwork for what we're experiencing now. Uh, so that's why it was important to me to have her there. She's, you know, all, all the great women that were uh, a part of our game. I mean, there's been so many of them and we don't talk about them anymore. And I think that's really sad. Right here, second row. Hey Lisa, Howard Magdal up in Atchford to see you. Um, it just in terms of getting a rematch of sorts with this team, in what ways are you able to use that to your advantage as you've kind of game planned for them? Obviously, you're a little different, they're a little different, but just what similarities have you been able to utilize as you head into this one? Yeah, I mean, we had the whole team watch the film from last year, so they kind of have it in their mind in addition to film from this year. But, you know, it's – Ironic, neither team has changed. And I know they're a little bit different, but neither team has changed a lot with their style of play. Um, I, you know, they only lost one starter. We lost two starters. Um, and I think they replaced theirs with a really good, like I said, and Maddie Nolan, a really good player. But, you know, this is a very experienced group. I mean, you're looking at what, you know, three grad students and a senior in the starting lineup. Um, you know, both teams are pretty experienced, but um, I'm sure that they're looking forward to this rematch from last year. Right behind. Yep. Yeah, Coach, you talked about the distractions, different things Caitlin's handled. There, there was an announcement of Ice Cube offering $5 million for, for playing in the big three. I just wondered if you all even talked about that. Obviously, it's, you're focused on the game. But, but things like that that come up, um, is it even something that people tease her about? Or how, does, how do you handle that when it's happening while you guys are playing? Yeah, I'm not sure how our teammates are. We haven't even talked about it, to be quite honest. It's kind of like, just put it, it, it doesn't have anything to do with us right now. You know, let's not even talk about it. She did tell me about the invitation that she was getting for USA Basketball, but, you know, she hopes that she's not there. We all hope she's not there next weekend. Um, but she was invited, and, and she shared that with me. But the other stuff, uh, I mean, that's just, it's crazy. Susan Harmon, hawkfanatic.com. Um, the, the fact that uh, Colorado has the two big kids uh, 
Quay and and Aronette, uh, how does how does that how do they present different problems for you guys with with just Hannah as the post? Well, I mean, Quay is a power forward, and so I mean she can play the post, but she's a power forward, and Kate's been doing a good job all year for us at the power forward position. Um, yeah, we're a little bit smaller there, but I mean, and Quay will come out and, and face up and shoot threes as well. So she's just kind of a big power forward. And I think that we've, you know, I think that's okay for us. Hey, Coach Doug Feinberg, the AP. It's nice to see you. Um, is there anything Caitlin can do now that would give you a wow moment? Like, wow, I didn't know she could do that. And if not, what's the last one you have that you remember of a wow moment from her? <laughs> Oh, that's a good question, Doug. Um, I mean, I, I don't know if she could give us any more wild moments. She's given us so many over the last four years, um, whether it's, you know, shooting incredible shots, um, passing the ball like no other. Um, so I'm not sure she could do anything yet um, that we haven't seen. Uh, my last oh, wow moment. Man, there's, there's been a lot, but I, I, Michigan State at home was a pretty big oh wow moment for me when um, she hit that three at the buzzer again this year. Um, but certainly she's, she's just a special player and I'm just very thankful. You know, here we are four years into it. It went like a blink of an eye. Nancy Armour, USA Today Sports. Hey, Lisa. Um, on Caitlin, again, much has been made about her competitiveness. Is there any one story that you have that really kind of epitomizes how competitive she is and, and maybe how you've had to rein that in or temper that a little bit? Man. Um, <clears throat> I mean, she, I, I've had to call technicals on her in practice. Um, <laughs> and, you know, I mean, she gets, she is like you see her in games and the emotion she plays with in games, the passion, the highs, the low, she's the same way in practice. When we go against our practice guys, or when we have officials in, and uh, the officials that we're bringing in sometimes don't want to call technicals on us, so I'll just do it from the bench because I do feel like, you know, we, we have to try to help her maintain her composure at times. And, um, you know, if they're not going to do it, then I will. More questions, folks? Yes, right up here. Um, regarding last game, you got no three-pointers outside of Caitlin from any of the supporting cast. That's pretty rare for you guys. Is that anything you – how do you re, reignite, you know, Gabby, Kate, all of them from deep? What's the key? Yeah, I mean, to me, and this is going to sound so simplistic, but honestly, it's so much just confidence. And, and it's just getting in the gym and seeing that ball splash through the net and feeling good about it and, and – visioning yourself being successful but at this point you know in the season you know they know they're good shooters and so I don't have to remind them too much but I will um, because again I just think it's such a huge huge part of it is the confidence building right here Lisa you guys have played a little faster each of the four years of Caitlin's career obviously the game against West Virginia was your slowest pace of the season mm -hmm. I'm just wondering uh, two things one how important you think pace is going to be in this game and what are things you can do have the team do early on to kind of set the pace you know I think both teams like to play quicker than what West Virginia did so I think it'll be a little bit up more up and down uh, game but um, you know, West Virginia really tried to slow it down, and they did a nice job with it. They did a really good job with it. And, again, their, their defense was very good. Um, you know, I think, you know, not having to get the ball to Caitlin it sounds like a funny thing to speed the game up, but might be an opportunity for us is to not get her the ball right off the bat, get her into a shooting position instead of a ball handling position where they want to pick her up. Nancy Hammer, USA Today. You mentioned confidence. How important is that with Hannah? You'd mentioned the other night about wanting her to be more aggressive. Um, how have you seen that, or how have you tried to get her to develop that this season? And how important has Caitlin been with her in terms of that? Yeah, I think um, your peers are so much more important than your coaches in building confidence. Um, and that's what great leaders do. Great leaders are able to bring up everybody around them. And that's what Caitlin has done with Hannah. It's kind of like, 
you know, you tell your, like you're, if you're a parent and you tell your kid to do something and they're like, uh -uh, and then the neighbor tells them like, oh, wow, it's revelation. It's the same thing right now. You know, like coaches can say something, but if the players say it, it means so much more. And so, yes, we're going to continue to try to build her confidence because I, I just don't think she's tapped her potential, even come close to it. Um, I think she's a marvelous athlete and somebody that just needs to be told how good she is. And I, I think there's a lot of women that are like that, unfortunately, that lose their confidence quickly. And um, people have tried to suppress them, keep them down, instead of building them up and letting them you know, shine their light. And she needs to shine her light because we're at our best then. Back over here. After this, we've got time for one more after this. Thanks. Marissa Jack, Spectrum News. Uh, Coach, welcome to Albany. Thank you. Um, you talk about Caitlin, and everybody knows what she can do on the floor and off the floor. Has she had a bigger impact on her teammates with her basketball knowledge and the things that she can do on the floor, or is it the things that the rest of us don't see? I'd say it's the things the rest of you don't see. Um, honestly, she is she's the one that's cracking the jokes she's the one that keeps the locker room happy fun i mean you know kate martin does a lot of that too don't get me wrong but um you know again everybody like you said can see the basketball ability but you guys don't get to see i mean she's a great student too um what she's doing for like the food bank in the universe at, at iowa city um what she's doing with her foundation how she's improving our community with that um, you guys don't get to see all of those things, but then you also don't get to see the goofy Caitlin that we get to see and that we love. Last one here. Patty, Rob from the Associated Press. Hi, Lisa. I was logistically, I wanted to get your opinion on the Super Regionals, you know, eight teams, four locker rooms, <coughs> hotels all over the place. Uh, did you like it the way it was before? Do you like it now? Did they make any changes from last year that, that, that you think have improved things or? What is your opinion? Well, I haven't seen anything. We haven't maybe been here long enough to see if there's been any improvements or not. But truly, Seattle was great for us. We were in a great hotel. Seattle was was good. Um, you know, I mean, Albany, the, you know, obviously the, the hotels aren't as plentiful and, and maybe as nice. And obviously, you know, we we're talking about every time we were on extreme coasts. And, you know, we play some pretty good basketball in the Midwest, too. And we'd love to have the opportunity to showcase you know, women's basketball at its finest in the Midwest as well. So I'm not sure that I love the two extremes that we're seeing because I think it's a disadvantage to us. Or maybe you got UCLA and Oregon flying, or um, uh, Colorado flying halfway across the country. I mean, can't there be something in the middle that helps a little bit? I don't know. Um, I would think so. I think women's basketball has grown so quickly, we haven't been able to keep up with it. I mean, it just, it has, it's exploded. And, you know, we, we do these... Um, you know, bids so far out that I don't think people knew what to expect. You know, three or four years ago when they bid on this, these sites, they, don't, they didn't know what to expect.